Kennedy Pyle with a step back three. She got it! Oh, good look. Great look from Kerber. Looks at Rooks out top. Left side, right handed, bucket for Rooks. Willie Come Kerber on, looks good. Hey. It is good. Go McKinley. Got it. Come on. Oh my ball. goodness. Off the mark for three, for two, with one. The Spartans win the second. All right, good evening, friends, family, and Spartan Nation. And thanks for joining the Dart Media Group for tonight's broadcast live here from the Spartan Dome as your Lady Spartans host the Shelbyville Golden Bears. For our executive producer, Dave Blondell, the voice of the Spartans, Mr. David Covington, and across the gym, scoreboard operator, the Queen Bee, Miss Carrie Blondell. I'm Kurt Carell, and welcome to the Precision Planning pregame show. I'm gonna take a moment and thank Mr. Colin Rigney. We appreciate your support, not only of the Dart Media Group, but for Pink Night here at the Spartan Dome. Got a lobby full of uh, um, auctions out there people are going through. Just a, a great night. We, uh, If people don't know, go back and watch the JV live stream. We had Biddy basketball during a JV halftime. There's so many teams this year. There's so many Biddy ball teams we've got to get them in. And JV, I think we've got some at varsity tonight. So we'll probably do a real quick... Kokomo Green halftime report. Let's get to Biddy Ball. Yep. But before we get to that, let's talk a little hoops. Coach Heffler in her fourth season at Shelbyville with a 5 0 record this season. The Bears have bested 3A Brown County in Greensburg, as well as 1A Waldron, Edinburgh, and Morristown. They're led by seniors Edwards, Brenner, and Pogue. They were, we're also trying to figure out the rest of that uh, scoring group for Shelbyville Lady Golden Bears. They're putting up a lot of points this year. Yeah, they're uh, really off to a hot start. And um, I think I read that uh, Edwards is on pace to break the all-time scoring uh, record at Shelbyville. Uh, she's averaging, I think, 25, 30 points a game. So not going to happen tonight, this early in the season, but she's on pace for that. And I, I think there's some other gold, Lady Golden Bears that are stepping up. Um, getting opportunities to knock shots down because defenses are trying to take a player like Edwards away and other Bears are stepping up. I wouldn't be surprised if Kylie Edwards has got somebody stuck on glue to her tonight. But for Coach West and his Lady Spartans, boy, they've been battling, but they're still looking for that first win. They lost their last contest against a tough Oldenburg squad. But Dave, maybe the biggest story out of the Oldenburg game isn't the score, isn't the leading scorer or rebounder, but it's really the kids that came in off the bench and the young underclassmen getting key minutes, like Claire Utley. Yeah, I mean, she just came right in, nervous. You could tell she was nervous, but she settled down, and she just played with effort and intensity and focus, and uh, that's one of the most exciting things to get to watch is young players develop and, and participate and do their job, and she's one of the leading rebounders on the team, if you can believe it or not. At five foot nothing. <laughs> we also had 
Uh, Bailey Taylor, who again, I think has now played three official varsity games of basketball in her whole life. But Dave, I think she had, uh, we talk about development, South Decatur, the Waldron game, I think she had eight turnovers, only four turnovers against Waldron. But Dave, she picked up a foul that was interesting against Oldenburg. The offensive foul, taking the bat ball to the basket. So again, every game she's stepping up, playing a little bit better, playing with a little more confidence. And if you're Coach West, that's really what this is about, is uh, great individual development and then team development. And the team will come along then, too. We want to thank you all at home for choosing the Dart Media Group for your watch party. Not really that you have any other options, but we're happy to be here. But, folks, today marks the fifth-year anniversary of our very first broadcast down at South Decatur to let Mike watch uh, Madison play. Yep, November 18th was the, the first one, and I think Dave, Dave, the voice of the Spartans, Dave Covington, joined us around this same time, too. And, uh, and like they say, the rest is kind of history. The rest has been history, but we definitely appreciate all the support we've gotten from you, the friends and fans at home, and from our sponsors who make this all possible. Our friends at Flat Rock Ag, Kokomo Grain, Larry Moore Construction, Flat Rock Precision, Brammer & Yen, Isaac Pyle Seed Sales, Shelby Farm Supply, Mux Crane and Contracting, Michael P.D. Arman, Attorney at Law, the RDS Greenhouse, AMPM Express. We've got to change that one, don't we? Shelby Materials, Just Peachy Cafe, Spitfire Graphics, Pile Properties, and Chance Johnson Real Estate. We need to change AMPM because Doyle's made a business decision and, he, and, he, and he's merged with a new company. Yeah, so uh, we'll be talking to those guys, and uh, they're a longtime supporter of Dart Media. And Really excited for what they've got going on down there with the, the boys. Big growing business for the boys. Uh, I think for, it's third the, generation. That the company is third generation Swansons that are now running and leading it. So That's fantastic. And by the way, Spartan grads all the way. So, folks, we're going to take a quick break and be back with maybe the Swanson family. Keys to the game. You're watching Spartan Sports with the Dart Media Group. Flat Rock Precision is a premier dealer of precision planning, Yetter, Martin, and 360 Yield. Jim Emmerich and his team specialize in the sales, service, and installation of these products. Flat Rock Precision, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. All right, DB, we've got the AMPM Express keys to victory tonight. You're facing a 5-0, 4A school at home on pink night. But really what Coach is wanting to have happen is more continued development of the underclassmen and experience. But, Dave, were there anything key or special that you'd be looking for as a coach against the Shelbyville Lady Golden Bears tonight? I think defensively you got to know where Edwards is at. She, she's a, a, a generational talent. I mean, I saw the kid just officially committed to go play D1 softball, so this is one of her other sports that she plays. But uh, you got to show respect for for Edwards. Um, and then and then I think the other Golden Bears they've learned. I, this is not the first night that somebody's going to face guard Miss Edwards. And uh, so if you're the Spartans, you gotta you gotta let another Golden Bear beat you. Kylie's going to score the point. She's going to score points. You're not going to stop her and hold her to zero. You just got to hope that she doesn't have a 30 or a 40 point night. Uh, and then offensively, you, you've got you, you got to work on turnovers. I think it's ball handling. Got to be confident in your passes, two handed passes. Quick, quick, quick passes. passes. Got to move the ball quick. And uh, I saw something in the JV game, a lot of bounce passes. So I think maybe Coach West, that might have been a, we didn't talk to him, but that may have been a point of emphasis. Uh, it was it was that much noticeable. So we'll see what happens here in the varsity game. And it's gonna be, when when we face guard, and I'm sure we will. The, the key though is going to be when Kylie Edwards to go set a ball screen. You're putting that so, defender guarding Kylie Edwards. Do I switch down and guard the bucket, or do I stay with my girl? Though probably we one or two times where we get out of position there, Dave. But if you're Coach Heffler, that's probably what we're going to use Kylie Edwards to do is go set some ball screens early. Yeah, and if, 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 if that was us and that was me, that's what I would do. 
is if you're going to face guard a player like that, you got to put her into screening the ball and stuff like that, create opportunities for her. And, and, uh, and your teammates then are wide open if there's no switch. Yep. Really creates the best opportunity there. So, All right, well, there you have it, folks. Those are the AMPM Express keys to the game. Dave, let's talk a little Isaac Pyle seed sales, stats that matter. What's, uh, what's going on with this series? Well, the series is uh, in Shelbyville favor about 24 to 7. We split the um, last 12. Shelbyville's won the last three meetings. In fact, uh, the last victory for the Lady Spartans was uh, happened to be my debut in the dark media games. So the key here is cut the turnovers down and and uh, try and limit Edwards. Just like everybody else has been trying to and do. And also to uh, take quality shots, try to make those. Great, great, the great, team, great. The team defensive uh, average has been, been giving up 42 a game, so that's not bad. All right, I, pre I agree, Dave. There you go. Isaac Pyle, seed sales, stats that matter. We're going to stay right here and let the uh, pet band entertain us just like they did last week. We'll have the anthem, we'll come back with lineups, and then we'll have the tip. Great job by the band. Oh. Pretty good stuff. High school basketball on a Friday night, DB. It's going to be 18 tonight. It's no good. better place to be than inside the I'm warm telling you. Spartan Dome. It's warm, too, folks. So Dave Covington will give you the uh, Shelbyville Golden Bears as they come out. Number four, Kylie Edwards. Abby Branner. Ellie Simpson, three guards. Ava Wilson, a forward. And Haley Pogue, that's the starting five for the Lady Bears. Kirk Correll will take it away with the Lady Spartan lineup. All right. Coach West leaves the huddle. Spartan Nation comes to their feet. Ty Stockdale, number three, senior, sharp shooter from the outside. Number four, McKinley Correll, my favorite Spartan. Looks like the shoulder's good, Dave. 23, Riley Ingle comes out. Junior. Haley Casey, number 20. And then Tana Tatlock getting the start tonight. Dave, this is Lefty's first start. Haley Casey getting the start tonight. Awesome. Going to have Taylor come off the bench. Bailey Taylor come off the bench. It's probably a great move there by Coach. Now that Haley, Kaley's back in, uh, Haley Casey's back in from concussion protocol, a little yeah. more confidence, shift her in and let Bailey come off the bench, a little less pressure on her. 
It'll be good. They're a nice five, six, interchangeable, really, with each other. All right. See if we can keep from a bucket right off the tip. Dave, it looks like the uh, Spartans might have a height advantage. Uh, yeah, they do have a height advantage. But the Lady Bears are kind of quick. Here we go. Tips up. Goes right. Nice defense. Oh, Great ball. defense by Haley Casey. The shot hit the ball. Stays strong in the middle. Did her job in the turnover. And here come the Spartans. No, it won't be a turnover there. That's a missed shot with a team rebound. Got it. So we've got a, looks like a 1-3-1 one, one half court trap. There's your bounce pass, Dave. Backside Got eagle. Oh, oh, good look. Not, Casey wasn't ready for it. And a blocking foul. Coach West, I don't think, likes that call. Probably not nearly as much as I don't like it. Probably could have got our feet set a little bit. Coach West, the official, having a great look there. Edwards at the line. Dog pound's going strong. It's been a long time since the last seen Shelby. They'll start five, I know. Say went on the way, got him. Well, Ooh. rattled out. Tatlock with a rebound. Crow with it, left side, 37, one nothing. Now attack, now attack. You got her out of position. Oh, knocked away by Edwards. Tatlock goes back and gets it. Go fast. Get stuck down and... Oh, too to slow fight. on the throw. Edwards, three balls, out. Correll rebound. Foul 44, Shelbyville. Spartan ball, 7-12 left. But Dave, the Spartans need to calm down a little bit here on the half-court press. Yeah, just relax. Make yeah, the that's first. That's been a problem last couple contests. You got, you got to make that first pass, and then you got to attack. From there, you attack. Don't stop. Don't look back. There it is. Knocked away. They lull you into that trap, and then that third defender on that pass is uh, jumping the jumping the pass. Attack! Set up Matt for it. Look, there we look, go. look. Go to attack. There Good we go. Good job, right to the Tana. Rack. There we go. Tatlock off. Get Rebounds the rebound. are on miss. Up. Blocked. Stepped out of bounds, and it's going to be Spartan basketball. Ball out of bounds. Six forty-four. One nothing, a baseball score here. <laughs> Stockdale opened. Uh, tried to find Casey down low and instead I gets like the thought. Correll with a steal from Edwards. Took it all the way to the rack. Uh, no, no foul. Up. There we go. Got a bump on Angle the backside. Up. Great take by Correll. Better job maybe by Engel being backside board. Did a good job. She kept the ball high and went right back up with through a foul. That's 12 seconds. They got to get a stop for her. She already picked two quick ones up. Second foul or one foul? According to this, Dan marked the other one yet. They about that 44 had to foul on this end as well. Is that right? Yeah. That's, that's trouble if you're the Shelbyville bench. If you look at the big board, it says only one foul, but D.C.'s got her for two. Ingles second, long. Got a friendly roll. We're not always tied at one, but tonight we are. 1-1 one, one after the first inning. <laughs> Good defense by Ingle. Pull up 12 footer off Got the mark. To go. Over the back. Foul on 44. That may be her third. Oh, they may have uh, caught something else down there. I think they missed it down on this end. Oh, well, nevertheless, six minutes left. Uh, she had to check out and. And I didn't see who checked now in. Now attack. 
off ha Casey's hands. Defended nicely in the post. Dave, I'd like to see a stronger, higher block position there from the post. We're, looking, we're trying to catch it too low. Looking to go to the post uh, on a couple of these possessions. Tell me we're working it around. Pull up 12 footer off the mark. Rebound angle to Corral. One nothing or one one five thirty left. Go send help. Stockdale now attack. You got the numbers. Punch pro underneath. Knocked away. Try to find Throw it out of bounds. Five seventeen still tied at ones. Well, they're not as panicky trying to attack that press, but. Slowed it down a little bit. Still not getting the desired results. We'll have to try something. Look at a high double screen, Dave. How about that? Pull up jumper by Ava Wilson is good. 3 1 Shelbyville. Let's get a girl high in the middle here. Pull that post up. There you go. And this is about as big as a crowd as I've seen for quite a while. Tatlock from Tatlock 15. From off. Good look, though. Make her go Ava left a little bit. Well, like a son to keys of the game. If you're going to hit shots, you got to Foul by one. Casey. I think that's her first, right, Dave? Yep. First team second. 430 left. And they called McKinley for the other one at that end. So both of them have a foul apiece. Johnson. So we've got a Lily and an Ella. One's 32, one's 40, both Johnson last name. This is Ella at the line. There's also two Bakers. Ella Johnson makes them both. There's a Hannah Baker that played in the JV contest, and there's also um, a Sydney Baker who will come in off the bench. Shall we go up 5-1? Nice curl gets it back. Knocked away. Out to Edwards. Oh, she traveled. No call. Get the rebound. Three ball on the way. Short. Tatlock missed it. Up. Going to call travels. Spartans get a big stop down low. Four shots for Edwards. Having a tough time getting going. The Spartans defense is doing its job. Under four. And the only point was from the foul line. Oh, too far. Tatlock tried to find Stockdale and threw it too far. Nice job there by Coach Edwards. Make it simple. First easy pass. 345 left. And the score's still the same. Edwards cut off. Nice job by the defense. Three ball on the way. Rattles oh. in and out. Ought to be Spartan ball. Good hustle there by Johnson. And I'd like to see one catch on bounds. this. I'd like to see one catch on this pass, Dave, and go to the basket immediately. Now, just drive to the basket. There you go. Get him right out of position. Go, Kai. There you go. To the right. Kai bumped. No call. Edwards Good take by down. three. Travel, no call. But the steal Got a turnover. Down, Stolen from behind. Blocked by Carell. Edwards with it underneath, misses again. Riley Engel with a rebound. Got a call Engel for steps. Set of hands on 30. Wilson got away with one. Taylor checks in. Shelbyville ball on the baseline. Turn 30. Uh. Ava Wilson Be better on your out-of-bounds defense. Um, Simpson, 7-1.
It looks like uh, something fell off of the photographer's <laughs> lens. It looks like lens cam. Chad Williams, the best in town, had a lens pop. Spartans inbounds. Step into Stockdale that Kai gets her feet set. Got it. Terrell with the assist. Stockdale with a bank in three. Seven four. Shot from the corner off. It'll be Spartan basketball. Nice job over there, Kelly Amrine. Man, she's quick. David, if I were to tell you six minutes in, down three. I take it. Spartans uh, playing well. I think they got a good game plan. And it's really uh, on the defensive end, though. Yeah, it's defensively. They'll figure this press out. Attack! Well, going in, and we'll shoot two. Good take by a little bit, number four. And Shooting. 13 foul, yeah, two-shot foul. All right. Let's check out this shooting form third. here. Three team fouls for, no, it's got to be four team fouls, right, Dave? Supposed to be, but I don't know what happened with that other one. Uh, up, up. I promised McKinley I wouldn't get on to her about a foul shooting. Yeah, it's a discussion point about how we shoot them. Both are missed. Ava Wilson gets the rebound. Backdoor cut back by Edwards. Good luck and bucket. Good pass. Good backdoor cut. Nine to four. One forty-three left. Thrown away by Tatlock. Oh, steal here. Taylor caused it. I think Stockdale's the one that picked it up after yep. Taylor bumped it. Stockdale turnover. Missed shot. Stockdale will get the rebound. And a foul. Foul. We're going to go to the other side. Team foul number four. I'm a little miffed on the foul situation. It's important because that's their should be their fifth. We're gonna sub what we what we got. There we go. Casey in, Taylor out. One thirteen left. Catwalk gets a bat. Now trapped over there, tied up. Jump nice ball. To keep the ball. Should be Spartan ball. Stay right there. Shoot that ball, Corral. Knocked away. Get those open looks. We got to make sure we're taking the shot. 51 left. The Bears are really dictating where we're passing the ball, which is right what they want, right? Trying to get it in. Oh, it's like in the back. Oh. Turnover on the inbounds. Nobody touched it, so it'll go back to the baseline. Way 51 the seconds. End. And no time went off the clock. Got four on one side. Edwards with it. Good defense by Angle. Stop. Edwards. Ooh. Bounced out. It's the three. Tatlock We're with out it. Out of there by number 33, Taylor Tatlock. Attack the hoop here. I knew I was going to do right that. Right in. Corral on a backdoor cut. Got a bucket. Back Riley Eagle with a great pass. Six to nine. Spartans are one possession away. Under ten. Seven. Clock awareness here. 
Long three on the way, banked in. And that'll end it, 12-6 after one, Bears lead. We'll be back, you're watching Spartan Sports on Pink Out Night with the Dark Media Group. The staff at Brammer & Yen are committed to help your business achieve your financial goals. Their specialized staff will provide you with assistance in all your tax, reporting, financial and business affairs. Brammer & Yen. Proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Harness the power of remote accessibility with the new Kokomo Grain mobile app at the App Store and Google Play. The app allows customers to view grain bids, scale tickets, and view current grain positions. Kokomo Grain, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. All right, we are back here live at the Spartan Dome on Pink Out Night. A late, last second, bank three from about 23 feet. Ellie Simpson scored it. Keeps the Golden Bears up 12 to six after one. Spartans have done a great job defensively, closing out and keeping the Golden Bears off the glass. Spartans have just got to do a better job against a half court press. They did better there in the second part of the first quarter. Spartans ran man to man. Oh, almost a travel up top. Nice parts come out with starters. Oh. And a foul. Foul. Ellie Looks like it was going to be on three. It's going to be one of the threes. 33 or three. Fouls on Tatlock. 33, Tatlock, first team third. Ellie Keller checked down at the beginning of the quarter, and obviously. First down. One more coming for Keller. Got them both. Got both. Shelbyville's been a good free throw shooting team so far tonight, Dave. Where are they from the line? Five of six. Move, Tatlock. Good. Get the ball out of the corner. Quickly out of the corner. Stockdale up, foul. Oh, the top player, player control. Must have pushed off with the elbow. Wow. She must have pushed off with the elbow. That's the only way that that could be a player control. We'll watch it. Oh, no. They call Haley Casey for an illegal screen. Oh, for screen. the screen. Okay. Ah, okay. That makes a little more sense. Engel, nice job on the screen. Make Edwards go left. She won't. Pulls She's up pop three. Up Got three. it. Fade That's in. Right Casey right up left-handed. Just Edwards. couldn't get it to go. Good luck, though. That's a couple good looks out of that. Rip and go, up, off the Turned mark. to go. Rebound tapped away. Six thirty-five left. Spartans down 11 now. Got to be smart on our passes. Attack! Nice look into Engel. Back to Tatlock from 15. Ten Just off. Rebound Carell. Well, Foul on the way up. She'll shoot a couple. Thirteen. Or no, fourteen. We're going to switch to baseline cam here. Yep. Simpson's first team spin. Up a little bit. Up. Better. Some players will take a couple shots to get their rhythm. Carell makes the first one. Substitution. Got to reset uh, that shooting for him. Claire Utley checks yep. in, number 40, the fabulous freshman.
Terrell strings both of them. Coach West is going to call a timeout here. Like it's going to be seconds. a 30. With a 30, we'll take a 20 and be back with more Spartan Sports with our media group. For over 100 years, Stewart Seeds has been committed to building partnerships rooted in local solutions and promises delivered. Isaac Powell provides personalized customer service and locally tested products that fit your farm and help your bottom line. Isaac Pyle Seed Sales, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. All right, we're back, live at the Spartan Dome. 6-11 left. Coach West calls a timeout. And the kids all came out laughing. I don't know what he said. He must have a great joke up his sleeve. So a triple screen look over here on the, on the right side, Dave. Edwards is going to cycle all the way around. Let's don't chase her. Nice job, Riley. Drive the hole. Can I get to go? Off-handed shot. And I'll pass to the nice job by the Spartans on defense Whoops. there. Five fifty left. Well, Johnson did pass it to a teammate, but she was staying out of bounds, unfortunately, and that was a turnover. Big high wide. Tatlock trapped in the corner. Got to spin quick. Utley knocked away. Buckdale gets it back for being hounded by number 30. Frizz with a great the job there. Could have went Frizz to Stockdale there. Just <laughs> saying. Senior to senior. 5.30 left. Lead is still nine for Shelbyville. And it seemed like they took the momentum when they hit that three at the buzzer. Catch the ball, move forward. Terrell gets them off for now attack, now attack. Just can't go over top, kid. Got to go around them. Ball fake up and drive around them. Again, Dave, they're over they're overplaying the passing lanes. You ball fake up and drive around? Yep. Again, the Bears are dictating where the passes are coming from. Nice right job, foul. Stockdale. Got her Very offer. Killer. I don't think Shelbyville goes more than six deep, seven deep. So attacking here gets them in more foul trouble. Bad pass, ball out of bounds. One-handed passes, Dave, one of my pet peeves. Yours is free throws, mine, one-handed passes. Yeah. Under five, Spartans down nine. Well, I've got a reason for the free throws. I can win you or lose you a game. And one-handed passes will win you or lose you the basketball. Very true. Edwards dribbles for about six seconds, throws it out, long. Correll pulls the rebound down. Uh, this might be an undersize. Uh, Lost it on the way in. Travel. Travel. Oh, we're going to call a foul instead. On the floor. I don't understand that. Fouls on 23. Riley Engel. Forty-four is back in the game. She's got two fouls, right, Dave? Yeah, two, uh, two in the book. Long air ball. Played by Edwards. Spartans clear the entire lane out. Wilson drives in, hits an easy basket, and gets fouled. Now that's her first. Both teams are shooting bonus the rest of the way. 4.18 to go. Count it. Ball in. Wilson's got seven, so she's picked up the slack from where they defensed Edwards. Oh, they caught Tatlock for Step. six. Well, I'll tell you, Wilson got lucky there. Could have got called for a bump. Tatlock traveled first, or well, that would have been Pogue's fourth, or third, excuse me. Yeah, 
Four point lead for Shelbyville. And they got Tanner Tatlock for a second. Tanner, we got to get back Put there when she catches the, the ball. She's not really a threat from 17 feet. Take a half step back, get nose and toes. Tatlock checked out. We're going to need another. 12. Taylor checks in. First one on the way. Look who got the rebound. Play Miss Utley. Utley. Go! Gets it from her aunt. Probably her mom. I never got to see her mom play, though. Nice job, Claire. Good pass. Oh, oh, just off the hands of Taylor. Short. Rebound, Correll. Rips it out. Runs it up. Four rebounds for Correll. Lead to Lady Spartan. Knock back to Stockdale. Oh, lost the off line. her hand and out of bounds. I think it might have got tapped before it got to Stockdale. 322 left. Yeah, shall we go very pesky on that defensive end? Got to use that against them. They're that far. Get them out of place. Take the ball to the hoop. Big hop off the mark. Crow with another rebound. And it's not like Shelbyville has any shot blockers. We need to take it to hold. Full timeout, Coach, Coach West. Coach West going to take a full 303 left. We'll be back. RDS Farms and Greenhouse is your local horticultural specialist with quality annual and perennial flowers to beautify your home. Our greenhouse has all the flats, planters, hanging baskets, and ferns to suit your flower needs. RDS Farms and Greenhouse, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. Shelby Farm Supply is your full service grain elevator and feed supplier. Travis Beck and his team specialize in the custom mixing and livestock feeding application. Shelby Farm Supply, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Gosford's got two quarters, Isgrig's got two quarters, and I'd like to play the rest of the way. All right. 3.03 left. Doing a quarter check on some of the JV kids. Emma Isgrig, number 15 on the bench for the Spartans, lit it up in the JV game. I think it's 16 points, right, Dave? 16 or 18? Something teen. Uh, 13. A whole bunch teen. Well, it's good to have her back. She missed... Uh, that's the last contest. Looks, that, uh, looks like we got a change in defense here. Looks like we're going to man to man. Shelbyville Good ball screen. Throw in. inside out. One more pass. Good take. Look at that. Good take. Look at that. Out. Great take by Bailey Taylor. She's going to How about that? One one. Caught it. Kept composed. Shoulder down, made a quick move to the basket. Ellie Simpson second. Got a substitution checking in here, Dave. That's Tangley Marshall. Eight deep for Shelbyville now. Way to go, Bailey. Let's use them here, kids. The most important one is the first one on a one and one because you don't get your second. Oh, they called that a one and one instead of a shooting foul. That's all right. Come on, two five. Off the mark. No, she wasn't active shooting. 235. Anyway. Right. Got to come off that. Edward nice job, Bailey. Bailey down. Taylor flies up in the air, gets a rebound. And has to dish it over to Corral. To Throw back with it. Let's go. Ball screen. Ball screen. Stockdale loses it, but Corral gets it back. Now Stockdale has to go off her foot. Wasn't ready for the pass. Well, Claire Utley got down, down, got in the way. Offensive foul. Way to go, Claire Utley. I like them Put apples. The TV off. Is that a 
is that like a, a Culver's ice cream or a, a cement mixer for that? <laughs> Way Good to job. go, Claire. Scared of nothing. Here comes that trap on the sideline. Quickly get it out. Now attack, now attack. Oh, we got a kick on kick Edwards. Down. I think Edwards might play soccer. I don't know. I haven't done a Shelbyville game for quite a while. Uh, she's a heck of a softball player. I'm not sure if she cleans her room, though. Maybe that's what she doesn't do well. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had a pass stolen away. Off the mark. Haley Taylor with it. Bumping foul there on 30. Good call nice. by the official. Riley Engel will go to the line to shoot a couple. One and one, one in the bonus. Excuse one and me. one. Still one and one. Engel's one and two, one of two from the line. As one. far as when it comes to teenagers and cleaning their rooms, that's one subject I definitely avoid. <laughs> Checking in. We got Tana Tatlock back in and for the Golden Bears, number 12. That's Abby Brenner. Who right. started this game? Hey, look left. Who's got back? Who's got back? Terrell battles down. Almost got an offensive rebound, but we can stay the possession. Next, right. um, Let's run one for a bucket here. Somebody. Brenner, Brenner tried to climb over Corral's back. It wasn't called. Shoot it, Claire. Shoot that. Oh, she's open. Stockdale driving left side, left-handed. Off the toe and out. 107 left. Oh, I'd like Claire to fire that ball up. Well, at least not, the turnovers. Not ready to do it yet. Yep. At least the turnovers are going on it's not because of lack of. Uh, it's turnovers going on because of nature having to go up against the press. It's not from uh, the silly things. But you have to try something against a 4A squad. Good defense. Knocked away by Tatlock. Tatlock steals it. Uh, Fouls uh, on 10. Down. Tatlock will be going to the other end to shoot some free throws. <laughs> Tana. <laughs> he hadn't called black or white there. Pointed at Tatlock. I thought Tana was going to cry. But I had the ball. Put but these in. 33. She'll put these in. Oh, this the first. Ben. Oh, double bonus. A little T second. Missed them both. Poke gets the rebound. Way to go, Claire. Stick your nose in there. Long Edward three, long Edward three off. No. Knocked away. Good hustle. Going to be Spartan ball with 36 left. Brenner almost went to the Spartan bench trying to get It's been 20 to 8 now for probably three minutes, two minutes. It's been a while since we had a point scored from either team. Well, we're holding our own defensively. Like I mentioned at the top of the broadcast. Can't get those buckets to fall. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's going to take some time. Utley, 12, Utley, back oh. out to Stockdale. Somebody's open. We tried to get it to her, but Edwards with a steal from Utley, and we'll take it all the way to the other end and put it in. 9 8. She has 8. What's the call? Offensive oh. foul on Correll. Edwards long three as time expires in the first half. We'll be back uh, to wrap up to uh, go over some halftime statistics. This is Lace Martin basketball on our media game. Yep.
Flat Rock Ag Supply is your full-service farm supply store, offering dry and liquid fertilizers, custom applications, and intensive soil sampling services. Flat Rock Ag, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Harness the power of remote accessibility with the new Kokomo Grain mobile app at the App Store and Google Play. The app allows customers to view grain bids, scale tickets, and view current grain positions. Kokomo Grain, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Larry Moore Construction specializes in building simple residential garages to a complex commercial campus of buildings providing a turnkey solution or shell package to fit your needs. Larry Moore Construction, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Mike offers free initial consultations on most legal matters and can work with you to create a payment plan that fits your budget. Mike accepts a wide variety of cases throughout Southern and Central Indiana. Michael P. D. Armit, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. The staff at Brammer & Yen are committed to help your business achieve your financial goals. Their specialized staff will provide you with assistance in all your tax, reporting, financial, and business affairs. Brammer & Yen, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Flat Rock Precision is a premier dealer of precision planning, Yetter, Martin, and 360 Yield. Jim Emmerich and his team specialize in the sales, service, and installation of these products. Flat Rock Precision, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. For over 100 years, Stewart Seeds has been committed to building partnerships rooted in local solutions and promises delivered. Isaac Powell provides personalized customer service and locally tested products that fit your farm and help your bottom line. Isaac Powell Seed Sales. Proud supporter of Spartan Sports. Mux Crane and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. Michael and his team invite you to explore their website to discover how Mux Crane and Contracting can work for you. Mux Crane and Contracting, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. RDS Farms and Greenhouse is your local horticultural specialist with quality annual and perennial flowers to beautify your home. Our greenhouse has all the flats, planters, hanging baskets, and ferns to suit your flower needs. RDS Farms and Greenhouse, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. Shelby Farm Supply is your full service grain elevator and feed supplier. Travis Beck and his team specialize in the custom mixing and livestock feeding application. Shelby Farm Supply, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. From their crosstown courier vehicles to tractor trailers, AMPM Express can handle all your shipping needs. From warehousing, expedites to regular truckload, Doyle and his team at AMPM Express are ready for your call. AMPM Express, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. Looking for a way to show your Spartan pride? The Southwestern Athletic Booster Club is a great way to support your Spartans. All those county, conference, and sectional letter jacket patches really add up. To find out how you can support your Spartans, email them at swathleticboosters at gmail.com. All right, we're back with the Kokomo Grain Halftime Report. Sorry, folks, no Betty Ball at halftime. We'll get the Kokomo Grain up here, and then we'll show you a little pop shot before we switch out. But uh, thanks again to Andy Fix and all the folks at Kokomo Grain for their support. So Shelbyville well Golden Bears lead 22-8 to eight after a one. Dave, we did a nice job defensively there in the second quarter, holding them to eight points, but we only scored two. Yeah, the, the, the ball pressure, the... And, and 
Golden Bears are doing a good job. They, they're, they're switched it up there in the second quarter. They did a little half court trapping and then switched it to a little bit of a man picking their girl up at 35, 40 feet back into that trap. So, um, yeah, eight, hold them to eight points, but you only put well, two we in. We got some good looks and opportunities to score out of it. We had probably two missed two footers. We're under pressure, uh, but we've had a, a, a variety, maybe three to four open 15 foot jump shots just haven't fallen. Yeah, they uh, two or three good looks, getting the ball to the corner and then hitting the girl cutting to the lane. Probably three good looks there in the second quarter that we could have had. And, uh, but they're executing, that's the thing. It'll come. Shovel is just quick. Yeah, they're in the ball passing lane. Ball hawking it on the, on the, on the, uh, there's on a the reason, passing lane. There's a reason they're 5-0, and oh, and uh, they're playing to their strengths, dictating kind of what we're doing offensively, and um, we'll see what happens here in the second half. So before we get to Dave, Dave, got a question for you statistics-wise. Did the Spartans attempt a three-point shot in the first half? Oh, they had to have because Stockdale made hers. Oh, we well, made right. the bank. Made the one bank three. That's right, that's right, that's right. All right, DC, 333. Let's run us through, if you will, please. Uh, Kylie Edwards has got eight, and Ava Wilson's got seven. That's 15 of the 22. And rebounds, Edwards leads Shelbyville with six, and Simpson got four steals for Shelbyville for the Lady Spartans. Attendant Corral leading with four. Stockdale got the bank three. Engel added a free throw. That's the extent of the scoring. That Corral's all over that glass with seven rebounds. Stockdale's got a couple steals. And that pretty much sums it up for the Lady Spartans. Trying to get good shots, but they seem to not be falling. We've only attempted the one three. I think that's probably uh, something we need to work on here in the second half, Dave, is get more <laughs> looks from outside. We've got a couple of Spartans catching it 20 feet open, and we're pa making the extra pass. So, uh, but against that zone, Dave, they're, they're tall, they're long, they're quick. Bump fake, drive, and try and make an, an open lane shooting or a passing lane between the defenders. Yeah, I just think you got to have more, you got to have more feet movement offensively. Not the, the passing is tough. You can't pass over the long arms of the Bears. I'd like to see more movement, feet wise, penetrating, kickouts, drawing fouls. We saw Spartans got into the double bonus there in the second quarter. I think if we look to take the ball to the basket, may pick up some more fouls, give us a chance to uh, shoot some from the charity stripe. All right, folks, there you have it. We got two minutes left. Neither team has been out to shoot to start the second half. We'll be back in about two minutes for the start of the second half as your Lady Spartans are back on the floor. Looking for a real estate agent with roots in Shelby County? Chance Johnson is a member of the Mymore Realty Association and currently works with Runnebaum Realty in Shelby County. His office is located at 37 East Washington Street. Give Chance a call to help you with all your realty needs. Chance Johnson, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. Flat Rock Ag Supply is your full-service farm supply store, offering dry and liquid fertilizers, custom applications, and intensive soil sampling services. Flat Rock Ag, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. All right, we're back. Pink out night. 
Lady Spartans, Lady Golden Bears. 22 to 8 the scores. We come back. Again, a special shout out to Kerry Blondell running the clock from across the gym. Turnover on the Let's inbound. Miss Casey a little fired up there. Got called for a blocking foul early. For second team's first and second half. Rattles in. First. Nine points for Lady Spartans come out with starters, and I believe the Lady Bears have uh, done likewise. Third foul on Casey. Now that's where I lost the foul at. Toe drag on the side. Call for a travel. Spartans haven't got it across half court. Sounds like the uh, intensity meter may have been high on the Golden Bears locker room, Dave. A lot of intensity. Oh, McKinley Sound. She hit her head on a foot. Better than the floor. It's fine. Might have wanted to call the charge there. Nice now job, Reagan Press. Lead Stockdale. Luke to the fence to Corral. Good. Drives it the hole and Bucket. put it in. Assist Luke Stockdale. First field goal since the first quarter. Ooh. Big push off by 44. Not seen. Officials kind of out of position. On the sideline. Nice defense Edwards there by Riley Engel. Like the Spartans are a little lost here. Where I'm supposed to go. Back to Carell. Carell in, rack. floats. Yes. Go. And put Good book. by Pogue and here come the Lady Bears. Wild shot off the mark. Air ball. Edwards missed badly. Tatlock with it. Tatlock fouled. Going the other way. See the foul. Kyle on. Wright uh, could, uh, fixing the fixing the wrap. Wow, fouls Pope's on forty four. I tell you, this is really great development for the Spartans going against this level of traps, though, right, Dave? Oh yeah. Can't get this in practice. <laughs> Stockdale's trap. Edwards with a steal. But cannot corral it. 6-11 left. Got to keep your dribble in that spot. Dribble towards the defender and then pass around him. Well, we've got another tough opponent tomorrow night. Try high. Then we got Hauser Monday tie up. Lady Bears will get it back. Six minutes left. So we got a tough schedule uh, going into Thanksgiving. Then the boys at open up against Edinburgh at Edinburgh. And we'll have that game live with the Dart Media Group as best we can get. Shots up and bucket. Edwards. Turnover on the inbounds. Tie up. Nice Spartan ball. Bat. Five forty three left. Oh. Foul's going to be on angle. How many is that on? Riley. Uh, that'll be your second. 
Thank you. Second team, looks like team second. Can I get Martin, it to go? Martin, Corral. 8-4 to go with six points. Attack now. Thrown away. Edwards three with a screen. 4.50 left. 14 for Edwards. Nice look down to Riley Engle on the block. Lost it. Casey jumps on it, gets the tie up. It'll stay Spartan's ball. Good look down court. Just got to catch that clean. Go right to the rack. Shelbyville scored 11 this third quarter. Oh, Casey is fouled by Edwards. And she'll shoot a pair. Lefty first. at the line. Come on, 20. Got it. Nothing but that. Lefty. M remember that back in seventh grade? Oh, folks, she struggled but worked so hard to get back at it. Got them both. Good job, kid. Way to go, Lefty. Green on 44, here it comes. Three ball Three on the cut side, got it. Good looking hoop. Mm. Hey, what is that? That's it, little bit. Well, got knocked down. Was, uh, Getting her wound up now. <clears throat> that lays out for Corral. Nice job by the official after the hit. Great job, Riley Engel. Dump down low, double team. Great job, Claire. Good, good, de good defensive, angle. good defensive half there, right, Dave? Yeah. On the half, the half good. court, right underneath the free throw lane. Let's go put Edwards on the line. Three fifty-seven left. That's her third miss. That's one thing she's not done well at this point. It's so rebound I'm here, Haley Casey. Oh, Casey. Miss Casey was trying to go set a ball screen. Just slid her foot. I like the thought, though. Right idea. Right idea. That's her fourth. Bailey Taylor comes in. Tana Tatlock. Casey go out. Correll back in. 348 left.
Edwards travels. Good D by the Spartan. Messed up the arrow going to the hole. 3.30 left. Long, lazy pass. We've got to shorten those passing lanes. We've got to get Engel to come up a little bit quicker towards that ball and a little sharper pass. Golden Bears are doing a nice job again, even in the, through the second half, cutting that corner. Riley Engel's now got four. Patlock's back in. So I got two with four. Long two, no. Rebound put back Ava Wilson. Got a rebound, rebound on the back side. Coach West going to call a timeout. It's going to be a full. We'll be back. Muck Screen and Contracting participates in commercial, institutional, and land development projects in both public and private sectors. Michael and his team invite you to explore their website to discover how Muck Screen and Contracting can work for you. Muck Screen and Contracting, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. Mike offers free initial consultations on most legal matters and can work with you to create a payment plan that fits your budget. Mike accepts a wide variety of cases throughout Southern and Central Indiana. Michael P. D. Armit, proud supporter of Spartan Sports. All right, we're back. Yeah, it's a little bit uh, kind of far to get there as well. Three minutes left. Great skip pass to Utley. Utley loses it. And taken away by Ava Wilson. She has six steals. Shot is missed. Knocked away Two by Stockdale. Probably going to be Johnson. on Stockdale, maybe. The he's reach. looking, he's looking. Yep. Probably a good foul by Stockdale. And Johnson's made two of hers in the first quarter. Not going to make that one. She just didn't look comfortable with the line there. Better this time. Sometimes you might have to work your kinks out. Much better. Three or four. Three points. Oh. Oh, watch that high long pass. Corner trap. Stockdale comes out you with can it. Dribble. You can dribble. Off her leg and out of bounds. Yeah, Stockdale had to throw it off a defender being trapped in the corner. 2.20 left. Long pass. Shelbyville fans are screaming Utley was on the line, but that's not the case. Nice look inside. Great look, great bucket. Bailey Taylor from McKinley Corral. Great bucket. I like that look. And, and took the took the one half step and put it up. A lead to Edwards for two. One fifty left. Seventeen for Edwards. Good look inside. Thrown away. Knocked 
Zigging, zagging, but look at Chad Williams on the baseline there. Got a camera in one hand and a basketball in the other. Looks Lally like Marshall's in and Ellie Keller's in. Looks like Heffler's cleaning the bench up a little bit. Emma Isgrig going to give Kai Stockdale. I think that may be Kai's first break of the whole game. Isgrig's first action. Whoa, got foul, foul up top. 22. Ellie Keller's third. That's only the third team foul. Nice job there by there. Tana staying strong. Dribble. Steal. Knocked away by Tatlock. Good hustle. Simpson and Wilson both One ten steals left. for Shelbyville. Flipped oh, up. Wow, long. Great block out by Isgrig. Look over there. Utley. Utley at five foot tall going against a six foot tall 40. Gets a tie up. Actually, that's a 40 on 40 jump ball. And Isgrig was in the area too. Final minute of the quarter, triple team. Brenner got the offensive rebound and got foul. Looks like it's on Isgrig. 57 left. That puts a bonus light on for the rest of the half. Short. Tatlock with it. Got an arm with it, oh, too. Oh, and tackled to the ground on the five-yard line. Shelbyville staying in the half-court trap. They're probably going to stay in it until we figure out a way to beat it. Tattle, oh! Just long. Nice job by Mr. Elliott corralling the rebound down there. <laughs> well, it's Friday, but that doesn't count because even though it went through the upright. 44 left. <laughs> Three ball, short. Tatlock with it. Oh. The well, Taylor the comes flying in there. That Taylor was going to block it. Ten, nine, eight. Spartans throw it away. Trying to find uh, is Greg. First simple four pass. Half, four and a half left. Simple pass. And they had to get the out ball out of the former concession stand tunnel. Goss are going to check in. Tatlock going to take a seat. Going to take a spot over and get coached up. <coughs> okay. Pressure here. Don't let him roll it to half court. Good job by the Spartans. No fouls. Two. Which one? Watches along two and got no. Why wouldn't three. they? We'll be back at with the fourth quarter action. You're watching Spartan Sports with the Dart Media Group. Looking for a way to show your Spartan pride? The Southwestern Athletic Booster Club is a great way to support your Spartans. All those county, conference, and sectional letter jacket patches really add up. To find out how you can support your Spartans, email them at swathleticboosters at gmail.com.
All right, ball's in. Start the four. Uh, Gosser, Corral, uh, Isgrig, Taylor, and Gosser. Utley. You get Gosser? I already, I already got Gosser. Gosser's the first one I got. Corral, underneath, bump, no call. Got the right look out of it. Got a nice job by Isgri getting the ball out of that trap. Yep, hit the, the cutter. cutter. Shoot a floater next time, Kenny. Got the hole, oh. cut off by travel. Well, Marshall got called for travel, and uh, she got cut off defensively and lost track of what to do and took steps. Attack it! Attack it! There we go. It is great. Catch, shoot. Missed that three. Got a shot up. It's only the second three-pointer attempted. The Lady Bears have attempted 13. I don't know how many they made yet. Made five of them. So that makes them a big threat. Edwards for three. Off. Rebound Taylor. Go down there by Taylor. Great job, Taylor. Not a nice job there again, keeping your feet set. Great job, kid. And Edwards is two of five behind the arc. Is that late? One number, 40, 30. 30. Ava Wilson. Great cross-court pass. Isgrig bumped. Fifth foul. For second. Got a line change except for the Spartans have got six on the court. Somebody needs to check out. There we go. Now we're down to five. 628 left. Just making sure everybody's paying attention. I didn't. Great know. look. Great look. Isgrig to lefty. Lefty, big bucket. Better pass maybe by Isgrig. Turnover. Edwards carried it. That was, Riley. that was Riley. That was Riley Riley calls that. No, it was the out of the out of bounds play. It was oh, Riley? Yeah, yeah. Riley was it Riley threw it in. Okay. They just uh, high fived on the way back down. Steal by Edwards. Up 43 or 33, maybe a time to get your uh, Division I softball player out of the game. Good bounce pass. Stockdale loses it, picked up by Johnson. For the running clock now. Knocked away. Air coach Heffler gets a line change with 5-12 left in the fourth. Good looking 12. Maybe 14 footer from Tatlock. Printer close rebound. Pull up 12 footer, got it. Bucket by, I think, 10. Boy Dave. Marshall.
for all Touch the shot three. Fail. No. Good in and out there. Put out by Branner. Riley bounces right back up. Hannah Baker checking in. One, two, three. Talon, get to the other corner. There you go, nice. Pete to Stockdale had a block for the foul. Rolly Marshall was in the area. <laughs> Banks the free throw, Banks it. she's got four. At least her fourth bank bucket. Yeah. Mm. Sean Smith's clear down there by Lily Marshall. Mm. Blocked by Corral and rebound. And rebound by Corral. And foul Hand on the two. top. Tower. Corral go to the line to shoot two. Or at least one on one. Fifth foul on 22. She'll take a seat. 44 checks in. Doubled up there, Dave. One on one. See what I did there? 22 one checked one. out. 44 in. You turn this into a math show? <laughs> Draw strings. Oh, Dave, I really hope we get 32 back here in about a month and a half if she's able. Got another one. Eight points for Corral. How many rebounds she got, Dave? Uh, nine. And let's get... Two, another field goal and another rebound for a double-double. Three, nine. Way off. Stockdale with a rebound. Stockdale's been everywhere tonight. Good skip pass to Tatlock. Bump on 10, Tatlock will go to the line. And it's double bonus now, team 10. No, no it's not. What's Tatlock for the line tonight, Dave? Miss both. Come on, 3-3. Three, three. Marshall gets a rebound. Ball bouncing around. Oh, wow. What about a Baker? Stockdale knocks it away, almost gets another steal. Three is missed. Three, two, got the offensive rebound on. Shot up. Baker. Got it. Who did they say got it? Uh, tw uh, 20 got it. Sydney Good backdoor look. Ingles up. Bucket. Nice pass by Stockdale. Ingle with a quick bucket on the left block. 
Uh, to those that know, if we're in running clock mode, the clock does stop for free throws. I think it's a line change. Five for fighting. First varsity minutes, folks at home. Higdon. For Estes. No. Kaufman. I'm a little. Emma Estes, first varsity minutes, number 10. Goster set to check in, next dead ball. Oh. No Kopp tied him up. A kick out, got it. Under a minute. Sprinter for Marshall. Steal by Poe, Catwalk with a foul. No, I think it was uh, Riley Engel, 23. Oh, she just fouled out. So Gosser had to check in for. Something's wrong. No, yeah, it's one and one. I think they called a two shot. Changed it to a one one and one. Good talk by the officials. Hard. Ellie Gosser with a rebound. Shoot it. First lap, no. She almost got that to go in. It almost climbed Coach, in. Where is it? Good hustle We're back, Ellie now. Gosser. Three ball, no. Rebound, Estes. I'm sorry, is Greg. Is Greg. Gosser under 10. The Golden Bears with a win, 60-21. We'll be back with the Larry Moore Construction post-game show after this commercial break. You've been watching Spartan Sports for the Dart Media Group. Larry Moore Construction specializes in building simple residential garages to a complex commercial campus of buildings, providing a turnkey solution or shell package to fit your needs. Larry Moore Construction, proud supporters of Spartan Sports. All right, we're back with the Larry Moore Construction post-game show here on Peak Out Night. Golden Bears get the win. Dave saw some good things from the Lady Spartans, but really maybe the best thing we saw is a great half-court trap that we had to go against for the better part of four quarters. Yeah, you're not going to see a trap ran that well all game long, probably the rest of the season. So... so other teams are going to scout. Other teams are going to watch the video. So probably ought to think about if this is what we showed against Shelbyville. See you, Parkers. If this is what we showed against Shelbyville in a half court, probably want to come out with a different look and a different option for next time when we face it. Yeah, I mean, just 6-0 um, and oh on the season. Um, 
Coach has got them playing well, playing aggressive, and uh, we'll, we'll see how the Bears do going down the down the stretch here. So. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So DC, run us through quickly. Tyler Edwards led Shelby with 21. Brenner got 11. Wilson got 14. And Edwards got eight rebounds. And Simpson and Wilson got uh, steals, six apiece, stepped into the passing lanes for the Lady Spartans. McKinley Corral led with eight and got nine rebounds. Ty Stockdale got four. Casey got four. Ingle got three. Taylor got two. And Stockdown Corral got two assists apiece. Leading assists, Ava Wilson with three. Um, it's a matchup where we're kind of like overmatched. Cause, uh, 4A school. Yeah. I and mean, they got D1 players. We got. We, we, we just don't have D3 players. So, uh, but no, kudos to them and good luck on the rest of their season. So, Dave will be back tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, uh, another tough matchup. The number four team in 1A, the Tri Lady Titans, come to town. And uh, they, be, they beat a couple of uh, county teams by 50 points, uh, 45 and 50 points. So uh, a tough game tomorrow night, back to back games for Coach West. But, but Dave, we mentioned it a little earlier. Coach West may be the right style coach for kind of what the Spartans are going through right now. He's keeping the team light. Team. Using his timeouts to coach. Team's having fun. You see smiles on their faces. They came out at half after halftime, high fiving, smiles, high fiving here in the line, going out, and just that that's a big part of it. It is. We'll have more of that tomorrow night. So uh, I think we'll do the, the DC broadcast at six, the J V game. We'll be live here for the big broadcast at about seven fifteen. For Kerry Blondell, our official scorekeeper. Dave Blondell, the Executive producer and Dave Covington, the voice of the Spartans. I'm Kurt Corral. Thank you.